bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. We've made it. It is here. Merry Christmas Eve. Eve. So my nurse was here first thing this morning at 8 a.m. Um, while Brandon changed my bandages so she could look at the um, healing. And I do have a new appointment for my staples. I am not going to Spokane on Tuesday. Still need to work up the nerve to actually call them and tell them I'm not coming. But I am scheduled in Bozeman on Monday to get my staples and my drains removed. So praying my drains will be ready. I know the one in my back will be ready. I don't know if the one in my leg will be. It probably will be. Um, but I am now sitting down to have breakfast. As my morning tradition is, I will watch a Hallmark movie. Brandon has got me some waffles and yogurt, kefir, and orange juice. So this is a bad habit I have of like having a hard time focusing on one book. So this morning, I've actually started reading the book in here that I haven't read before, The Twelve Dates of Christmas. I'm just a little bit in, but it's very cute. Um, and this, this is like a teen, young adult. Um, I actually only read, uh, I just started reading adult books probably only like a couple of years ago, two years ago, three years ago. Maybe once I had a kid, I was like, maybe I need to venture into the adult section of the library. Um, I just never knew like where to go there because there's so many books. Brandon went with the boys to get a grocery pickup and also a prescription. So I'm going to attempt to wrap a couple of gifts I have for him. All right, done. Unfortunately, this one, it's too easy to tell it's a book. And um, this one, we ran out of Christmas wrapping paper. So we got some birthday. I suppose it's Jesus' birthday, so it works good. Gifts are wrapped for my mom and my sister. Now I just need to do my brother-in-law Douglas's. There's literally no way before today I could have stood here and wrapped four gifts. It is already afternoon, and I am downstairs for the first time today. Last night when Callie was here, she let me borrow her wonderful handwriting, and she wrote in our Christmas books. So this is from last year, and Landon's first Christmas, and then this was from 2018. And then our this is the first year we did it, which was Elias's first Christmas. Um, this was a tradition that my family did where we'd get a different Christmas book each year. Um, we did it where it was on Christmas morning. I haven't been great about this, but my goal is to actually get it earlier in the season so then we can read it a couple times before we put it away. So I actually have these one, not that one, but um, my dad had sent me some of our old Christmas books. Uh, so this one is from 1990. Um, let's see, 1990, apparently we've got a couple of them. This one the boys have already wanted me to read to them, 97. I think this one's funny because they just look so white and they probably were not that white. Um, this is, I haven't actually read through this yet, but this, um, it talks about, so it's from 1993. I was six years old. I'll have to maybe read some of this. Okay, so there's a couple other ones here that don't have years in them. Um, and then this one I remember. I feel like we had one that was like a pop-up book of children around, uh, like Christmas tra traditions around the world. That one's not here, but I feel like I remember that one. But this one I also remember. And I might be thinking of this one because I feel like the art is the same. I don't know. Very cute. All right, so here's some of it uh, from that um, uh, Christmas album. I don't know why Joelle's over here not answering the questions. But gifts I want to give my family, hugs and kisses. Gifts I want to give my friends, be nice, give candy out of my stocking. Oh, wow, so generous. Um, what I like most about Christmas, candy, presents, God, um, 
I don't know what that part says. And being with family. Special things I do to get ready for Christmas. Share with friends. I was such a good girl. I can't wait until <laughs> Christmas and until Jesus comes. I still cannot wait until Jesus comes. Very much looking forward to that. Gifts I want most. <laughs> God, I'm so adorable. Gifts I want from my family are love. Ooh, gifts I don't want that I'm afraid someone will get me. <laughs> the devil? Oh my goodness. If I could have anything in the world, I would want a house. I still want a house. A new teddy bear. Aw, funny, because I don't like stuffed animals at all. If I could spend Christmas anywhere, I would go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> if I could spend Christmas with anyone, I would spend it with my family. Oh, but Joelle and Trevin there. Jesus and God. Good job, guys. I didn't answer this one. If we could do anything. Trevin, love Jesus. Aw. So I was six when I answered those. I would have just turned six because my birthday is in October. Um, I'm very much looking forward to asking my boys those questions growing up and seeing what they say. Elias has got his fire hat. Wow. Brandon, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm not. Fill me in. What's the plan? No plans at all. Not Brandon lost, um, not yeah, lost, man. but he's trying to find where he hid my Christmas Okay, gift. and you're watching me while you're doing it? You're watching me trying to find your Christmas gift? <laughs> no, I just wanted to tell the vlog what you're doing. Oh, thanks. Because it's I'm funny. Make me all embarrassed. No, Let's it's just it funny. Is. Hey, Landon, how was your nap? Ah! He has a little bruise on his face because he fell out of the crib the other day for the first time. Luckily, he hasn't done it again. We are getting caught up on our vlogs on YouTube. I think Elias and even Landon especially like to watch them because they see themselves. You say hi, Elias. Hi. Can you wave? Please. Please? Please what? Yeah. You want to watch more of the vlog? You say, more vlog. More vlog. <laughs> so this is an issue we've been having with Landon this season. He crawls back there. Luckily he didn't unplug the tree this time, but he has been crawling back behind the tree. But you're not supposed to do that, are you? Landon, you're not supposed to do that, are you? Landon, no. Elias. Are we all good now? Are we enjoying the, the Christmas lights? Oh, are you give me a hug? How about you give him a sweet hug? How about you give him a sweet hug? Hi, Landon. I'll grab a blanket. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love you. Love I love you. you. This is why I can't be left alone with the kids yet. I'm trying to call Brandon. He's out at the storage unit, just like it's connected to our apartment. And um, because this one keeps messing with the plug and I can't really deal with it. I should also mention that he's out at the storage unit because the hunt for the missing Christmas present continues. All right, so I'm resulting to having to holler out the back door for Brandon because he doesn't have his phone with him. Ah, and my pain is getting pretty bad. And they can just kind of be a lot to deal with. They're fighting a bit, but even when they're not fighting, it's just, don't have a ton of energy. Well, hopefully he heard me. He didn't respond, but Elias and I were both quite loud. I would send Elias out there to get him, but as you can see, he's shirtless, shoeless, and it is snowy. He didn't set up his own little seat there. He put the one cushion up, and now you got your own little chair, huh? You like that. I don't like it. You were such a cutie. So I just about gave up, went and got my walker, got my shoes on. I just did my slip-on shoes. It was my, my first time walking with shoes without my foot brace in there, which I don't know, don't know if it's going to be a good idea, but 
Brandon is at the back door. I literally feel like someone is stabbing me in like the side of my leg right now. My nerve pain. <laughs> this is probably the highest it's been. Well, no, the other night actually, my foot felt like it was on fire. Like someone stabbed it a couple times and lit it on fire. That is what my foot felt like. Right now though, dealing with the stabbing in the side of my leg, just took an Oxy and two Gabapentin, which as we've learned is for nerve pain. It's not an antibiotic. <laughs> but hopefully dad, we will Yay! Any minute. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, are you doing like baby shark? <laughs> we don't hit. You do baby shark? No. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my child. Alright, well it is just, it is just about bedtime, but before they go to bed on Christmas Eve Eve, I have something fun to pull out and show them. Yay, something to make them go even crazier. I'll do it. <laughs> so I knew I wouldn't have the energy to actually make sugar cookies. So we are going to do a simple way, color up some food coloring. Brandon and I are having, I guess, a little date, a little snack, and probably watch a show on this Christmas Eve Eve. Alright, so this is a no judgment zone because at least I'm not very crafty. Are you crafty, Brandon? Oh, well, you're actually doing pretty good so far. I'm doing alright. So this, <laughs> this, it started this was my big. snow and then I, I tried to make a snowman on there um, and then the sun is shining around him. But it's basically just a melted snowman and then I wanted sprinkles so I guess he's bloody. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I'm going to do a yellow. I'm going to do a yellow trunk. Oh, right. So, of trying to and then brown. here I just wanted to do half red and half green and then I tried to do a snowflake in the middle. That is just a total disaster and then I put some snowflake sprinkles on there. So we have a snowman and a snowflake and Brandon is working on a Christmas tree. It's not actually too bad. No. It's okay. <laughs> it's, right. it's, it's at least legible what I'm doing. I mean that that's all I'll go for. And then I might do a little white around the base just to give it more frosting because that was it. that was how I was feeling I was like I don't want empty space I want frosting on this cookie I want to overload it with frosting so as you uh, seen I already explained my cookies so Brandon go ahead and explain we have what is this here this one that is a Christmas tree with a yellow trunk which you never see yellow trunks so it's just a weird weird trunk okay and then we go down to the tripped out Santa Claus. I mean, he's he's like all wavy and everything like that. It's he just really he wanted like frosting. That's he, what I if see. If you're on drugs, that's what Santa Claus is. But, was. okay, so it looks silly until, once he explains it, you can kind of see it. Yeah. Explain where it is. All right. There's the, the, the tuft, the, the cotton thing on top of that hat, and there's a red hat and a green outlay, and then the crazy wavy blue eyes. And then you got a yellow it's nose because I was too beard. too lazy to make a brown or whatever. <laughs> brown. Or whatever. Tan colored. Alright, so who's the winner? Brandon's cookies are mine. 
I think Brandon's has more frosting. I think that makes him the winner. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with the frosting aspect. Did you have fun decorating cookies? You know, we got to do this every year, and next year we got to have the boys along. You know, I think so. It's not going to be the same without the boys. This is actually Angela. really like my first year doing this. I think just a couple of years ago I made sugar cookies by myself, and it was miserable. Like. I was, it was boring. I don't think you should do that by yourself. I mean, unless I guess you find it therapeutic. I don't find cooking and baking therapeutic. Um, but this was so much fun. And yes, I think like Elias and Landon would have so much fun like drawing and decorating on their own cookie. This was really fun. And I think we, Brandon and I, are going to be sitting down to eat our delicious cookies with some Rocky Road ice cream. Don't be weird. That's oh, just weird. that's no. part of the fun. Nobody Come likes on. tongue sticking out. That's just yes, weird. Do. No. Yes, Anyway, nope, like strange we are going to sit down and watch some of White Christmas, which we started last night, wow. and then we're going to go to bed, because tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and we will be at the Lowly's house, so we will see you tomorrow.